वेलकम बैक एंड होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो यस यू आर फाइनली गेटिंग द वीडियो दैट आई प्रॉमिस टू मंथ्स अगो बट या इट्स फाइनली हियर टाइम स्टेम्स विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो चेक देम आउट इफ यू वांट टू एंड आल्सो इट्स गेटिंग हॉटर ओवर हियर सो इफ यू सी मी स्वेटिंग mind your business let's officially start this review so today's review is about the maybelline super stay matte ink liquid lipsticks i have two shades right here with me i know i was gonna do three shades so i did ask for recommendations but then all the shade recommendations that i got were very much on the similar note so orangey tones and didn't want that and then i started thinking why am i buying things that i don't actually need i do not like to be wasteful so i just thought you know what i'm pretty sure some people will find just the two shades helpful too and these are some famous shades i have heard about these two shades a lot they look very similar on camera but one of them is amazonian and another one is seeker these are available online offline you don't have to worry about availability when it comes to maybelline these retail for 650 rupees for 5 ml of product 650 is something i consider mid affordable if the formula is good i don't mind paying the price point so yeah i do consider this a good price point for what they are these smell heavenly these are probably the best smelling lipsticks that i have in my collection it has that cocoa chocolatey sort of a scent it smells so 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 good god bless whoever chose the scent of these coming on to the details they all have color coded packaging which is something that i appreciate a lot you have bunch of these you would not be getting confused a lot the actual applicator is also pretty cool it has a hole in between so that it can hold enough product in it this is probably one of the best packagings i have seen in a lip product it's not that different or it's not that unique but it's very practical and i like that i think currently they have 50 shades available in india the shade range is already pretty good on these and i feel like they constantly come out with different collections anyways so existing shades along with a few new ones it's always good to see a brand expand on their shade range coming on to the formula the formula is pretty damn good these are smooth on the lips they are great to apply they are full coverage they don't move around once they are set they set so that becomes an issue because if you are applying your lip color if you mess it up and you are like i'll clean it a little later on just try to clean it up as soon as possible because once it dries down it really does not move at all the only way that i have found it comes off is with the garnier micellar water the this one the yellow one not the pink one i haven't tried it with the pink one i tried to take this off with coconut oil and i couldn't do it that's how difficult it was if coconut oil does not take off something you know it's going to be staying but the micellar water worked wonders so that's the reason at first why i wasn't a big fan of this because i wasn't really able to take it off unless i ripped the topmost layer of my skin apart imagine if i had a very pretty color that i always wanted to wear am i gonna take my lips off every time i had to take the lip color off no if you're looking for something to take this off because of which you are like i do not like this lip product then try that one it will work well and talking about the finish uh it looks slightly it has a sheen to it it's not glossy per se but you can tell it's not matte it does say matte but the finish isn't exactly matte it does not transfer however it is waterproof the sheen doesn't really bother me but if it does to you then maybe skip on these the one issue i have with the formula is if your lips are flaking off so during winters it does happen that you have some skin coming off and it usually isn't a problem with creamy lipsticks sometimes liquid lipsticks can be a an issue and this is one of those but it isn't even that it accentuates the dry patches it more like separates it so you know you are just in a hurry you pick a lip color apply it and then smack your lips together and then the next thing you see is it being settled into certain areas and on the dry patches it looks so ugly like that if you are in hurry please skip on this one or at least make sure to moisturize and exfoliate your lips every time you want to use this and also this is something that i mentioned in a very old video that you shouldn't be watching don't watch i'm not going to mention which video but i mentioned that uh, it kind of comes off from the top lip so it doesn't really come off i don't find that the lip color moves at all but i wore this for the longest time that i've tried this and i remember that the lip color was slightly coming off from these areas probably because i was speaking a lot but it is possible that this issue is only for my lips because i have a habit i recently noticed this is when i'm focusing on something i smack my lips together constantly or i bite my lips so that could be just me and i don't think the top lip thing is a big deal when you consider the fact that if this was any other lip color you would probably be reapplying this anyway i also did not find that this creased at all so the whole settling into fine lines and stuff this did not do it that at all once it sets down no matter how much you move your lips around it's going to stay the same one advice would be don't smack your lips together immediately after applying this let it set down once it sets down completely that's when you want to smack your lips together i know it comes out of habit when you are just applying a lip color you just smack your lips together but 
try not to do that when you're applying this and i'm pretty sure it's gonna help how it looks on your lips coming on to the staying power this is probably the lip color that lasts longest in my entire lip collection and one big thing i found about these was these make good mixing lip colors so if you have a lip color and you wanna kind of make it stay a little longer apply that lip color and add this a little bit it will definitely help but there are also lip colors with which the formulas don't really blend that well so once you apply it it will separate and stuff so try to be careful and the staying power on those isn't gonna be the same as when you apply this alone one proper layer of this is gonna last you for a really long time but i cannot say the same for when you're mixing lip colors does it help yes is it life-changing no but it's still especially this color amazonian i personally use it to kind of neutralize a lot of my brighter colors so if i feel like a lip color is too bright i just add this in and it makes the lip color way more wearable than what it previously was so it's really helpful in that case this color specifically but yeah it does make a good mixing lipstick you just have to be careful with the formulas so i tried to find some claims and there weren't a lot of claims that this lip color made which i feel like they had a good opportunity to brag about a product but they did not the only one that i found was that it lasts for 16 hours i feel like this lasts even longer maybe it won't be as perfect as when you first applied it but it still stands really strong and yeah that was it for all the review let's move on to the swatches and then we'll talk about the pros and cons okay here are some hand swatches and you guys will notice in the lip swatches that the hand swatches and lip swatches look really different and i don't really know why that is i think it's just the fact that i am swatching this on my wrist which is very pale compared to my face I thought it was my camera at first but then I tried to refilm the swatches and it just looks the same exact way even now so yeah that's just how it looks on my lips and my hands it's different so let's get into the swatches now and you'll know what I mean the first one we have is Seeker Seeker on my wrist looks a lot more red than what it does on my lips on my lips it goes more orange but it's a red orange burnt sort of a color it's really 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 pretty will probably suit fair to medium and medium deep skin even deeper skin tones can wear this but i just feel like it will look a lot more neon on you than what it does on other skin tones next we have amazonian it's a peachy warm toned nude on my hands it looks a lot more brown but on the lips it translates to more of peach this will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin tones deeper than that i feel like this might wash you out so i wouldn't really suggest it it's still a really pretty color and i wish it looked more brown but that's just how it looks if this doesn't really work out then you can always use a lip liner so yeah those were the lip swatches if i change up the lighting in this video a little bit it'll probably look a little more brown but i feel like this is the more accurate representation like i'm wearing amazonian while i'm recording this audio and looks the exact same as it does on my screen so i'm not gonna do anything so i don't think it's my camera that's just how it looks depending on your undertones and the lighting so yeah so let's talk about the pros and cons now pro number one availability online offline very 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 widely available Pro number two is the packaging, probably one of the most practical packagings I've seen and it works really well, it's color coded, it's just perfect in my opinion. Pro number three is the shade range, they have a lot already and they still keep on adding and they even launch it in India which is always appreciatable so yeah that's another pro. Pro number four is it smells like heaven, it smells so 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 good i know there will be still people who do not like the scent but i personally love it and i feel like majority of the people are gonna love it pro number five is the formula is really good it's just unbeatable when it comes to the pros versus the cons obviously it has some downsides but the pros are so 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 big especially during a pandemic i feel like this has really stood through so that was the fifth pro pro number six is the transferability it doesn't really transfer at all once it sets it sets down pro number seven is the staying power it does not come off your lips unless you try to take it off of your lips big 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 pro and pro number eight is that it's waterproof so yeah these last three ones especially carry a lot of weight and those are eight pros which is probably the highest for a product that i have reviewed so yeah it's a pretty good one let's move on to the cons though so con number one and i think the only con that i have for this product is if your lips aren't in the best condition this is not gonna work that well so your lips really do need to be properly exfoliated and moisturized for this to look good once it looks good it's gonna look good i don't think it even dries my lips out but if your lips are already dry they're flaking off try not to go for this lip color choose something more hydrating and exfoliate before you apply this that's all that's the only con that i have
if you have any other con let me know i would love to add it and yeah that is it that is all i have to mention about this lip color if there is still anything that i have missed let me know in the comment section down below and if there is any aspect that you disagree on with me then let me know about that as well i would love to see your guys' thoughts on this so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe i'm always grateful for you guys thank you for your support in whichever way you choose to show it and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one Bye.